Hi everybody, I just wanted to do a quick review on Zeno or ZNO, um, who I think were formerly Artisan State, uh, just because I was looking for someone to do my wedding album and I was thinking about using Zeno and I couldn't find that many positive reviews on them, so I thought that I'd give you guys a look at um, my wedding album, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, so this is the box that it came in. Um, I've already opened it. Uh, so plenty of packaging around the outside. There's plastic cover in it. Um, I also ordered the box to go with it. And this is the album. So I ordered the 11 by 14 flush mount. Uh, with the linen cover um, and I think with the pro plan um, I ended up paying about 220 USD which is which I'm pretty happy with and being the pro plan uh, member all that means is that I had <laughs> this put on the back which I'm not fussed about um, so along with the linen cover, um, I got the lustre print and I just got standard pages, which is 70. Um, I did want thicker pages, but I had too many photos. Uh, so I had to go with the standard pages. But having said that, uh, they are still pretty, still pretty thick. Very pretty thick cardboard there, I'd say. Um, it was two to three weeks postage, which I think was pretty good. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that from the time it was posted. It arrived, you know, within a week or so. Um, uh, apologies for that, there was somebody uh, at the door. Um, yeah, so from the time I placed the order, it was only about uh, three weeks before it landed on my doorstep, which was pretty good. Um, I must apologise for my lack of uh, correct terminology. I don't have an interest in photography. I don't know anything about it. Um, I was just looking for a cheaper alternative for a wedding album uh, as opposed to going with our photographer. Um, and I don't have any prof other professional albums to compare it to, but overall I'm pretty happy with this and I would definitely use them again. Um, the only thing I would say about using them is that it did take quite a while to upload my photos. Um, I had to get it down to about two photos at a time, otherwise it would just crash. Um, it would take me about 15 minutes to upload two photos. So I was uploading photos for a couple of days, just going back and forth to the computer, keep adding another two uh, into the album. Um, the layouts were really good, really easy to use. You just tell them how many photos you want per page and then it will give you all the layout options. Uh, it will automatically place the photos for you and then if you're not happy, you can just change the photos around, move them around using that layout or change layouts again. Um, besides that, I didn't really use any other formatting. I didn't change uh, you know, columns or spacing. Um, I didn't add any text. Um, but yeah, it's up to you, I guess, whether you want to have a play around with those features. I'll give you a quick look at the album, just to give you an idea. Oh, so this, I'll see if I can get a better. That's the linen. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of got a nice texture to it, uh, just in the gray. This gives you an idea of quality, the layouts. And it is a flush mount, so I will show you uh, some pages where there is a picture running down the center. I'm 
really happy with it. I don't see uh, any issues with the color colors at all. And this is an example here of some photos running down the middle. Uh, it's, it's pretty good. It, it, is, it is flat. It does look pretty good, I, I think. I mean, only upon close inspection can you sort of notice the lines down the middle. Mm, I'll just have a qu flick through here. There's two black and white ones where I did the whole page. And there's another one down the middle. And you can see how that's turned out. So as I said, yeah, I've got 70 pages here, um, probably about 400 photos, I can't remember exactly. Um, and the, it's just the standard pages, which I'm pretty happy about. I'm, I'm sort of now wondering whether I had have got the thicker ones, whether it might have even been too thick, um, a bit stiff perhaps. But this is quite nice. And these are all automatic sort of layouts. Again, I didn't use, um, I didn't change, change any of them myself. These are all ones that the system sort of put in there for me. I'll just will mention that that there is the actual photo. That's not the, uh, that's nothing to do with the printing. Yeah, so apologies if it's a basic review. Um, I just sort of wanted to give everybody an idea of how mine turned out because I have read a lot of negative reviews online, but I'm very happy with my album and have been recommending them to quite a few people um, and will be using them again myself. Um, I didn't have to contact customer service, so I can't uh, give any feedback on what, what they're like. Um, I didn't have any troubles putting the album together and there wasn't any delays with um, printing or postage. But if you have any questions, uh, just, just ask. I'll, hopefully I can help answer them. And yeah, I forget what the um, what the exchange rate was, but it was about two hundred and twenty dollars USD, uh, which I'm really happy about because getting an album like this uh, from a professional photographer uh, in Australia would probably be fifteen hundred at least. Um, so I'm very happy that I spent the time I did on this album with putting it together. And again, the pro plan. Remember, you get that printed on the back, which again wasn't an issue for me, especially because I didn't have any uh, pictures on the front or back cover. Mm, yeah. So that's it. Thanks. <laughs>